Hello and welcome back. Here we are at the Stone Furnace build. Now, this let's go to map mode for a second. Um, this is our potions build, and you can see the scale of it. There we are. This is the um, electric engines build, and you can see the scale of that. This is our build here. Well, just look at it in terms of footprint, right? This is our build here for the furnaces. It should be producing 630-ish. It needs to produce over six. We are not getting close to that. And I have tried various things, shuffling around the build, adding extra smelters here and there, doubling up inserters, removing inserters, uh, everything bar doing the hokey cokey. I cannot make this build work. And I think the reason is it's just too big, right? There's too much of a gap here between the two halves of the build. There's too many rover ports. There's too many drone drones charging up. Um, yeah, it's, it's using nearly a thousand drones and still not working. So um, what can we do? Okay, so I think the solution is to nuke this and drop down to a half scale build and see if that fits within a sensible footprint with a sensible number of bots um, and maybe think again how the supplies are brought in so that we can try and minimize this width here. So at the moment we have five rails. Um, if we can get that down to three, maybe, maybe that would help. Okay, so... Uh, First things first, we are going to nuke this entire build and gone. Cool. Uh, these are all going to drift over here because they can. Uh, so I'm going to put down a storage box which will collect up all the um, stuff that they are carrying. There we go. And we're going to go back down here and think again. All right. So, the last build had six electric furnace machines. We're going to do a build that has three. Um, so let's start with that. Okay. okay. So let's start off with a furnace making machine. I'm glad I kept this around. So one, two, three furnace machines. Okay. Um, then to support three furnace machines, uh, we need a bunch of brick smelting, but we also need a bunch of red circuits. Um, so According to my incredibly complicated maths, we need 13 and a half red circuit machines. Call it 14. Um, so that's two lots of seven. Uh, so let's put down seven red circuit machines. No, that's green, that's red. Okay, so we have two lots of that. And so that we don't forget, I'll put down the other. Okay. Um, then we need some green circuits and some copper coils. And I think because this is a much smaller build, what I'm going to do is green circuits. Bringing everything in by bots. There we are. Um, that's not representative, is it? Let's power that up. OK, so that needs lots of coil. Um, Okay, so we need two incoming boxes to keep that going. And 
And this is one where I wish I had kept the blueprint from earlier. Okay, so this is 12. Let's put that down to 600. Okay, and this is four. Let's put that down to 200. Okay, so that's our green build. Let's take a blueprint of that. Um, and give it an icon. Green circuit. Okay, then uh, do we have a copper? Yes, we do. Okay, so this is good. This is our copper build. So let's put beacons around it and we will blueprint that. Okay. Um, Okay, this is probably going to require some uh, assistance in the form of, um, yeah, let's make that. Oh, it needs an icon on that. Right, so we're going to have to put um, substations in front of this to keep this all powered, uh, but we will work it out. Okay. So we now have these builds, which I will put into our blueprint book at some point. And we need two of these, I think. In a minute, we will do a max rate over the entire thing. Okay, so let's grab that one, two of those. Then, um, right, so we're going to need another two coil builds. To, it'll be too much coil for these, but it will be sufficient. And there might be something we can do there with um, putting the substations within this build, which would then free up where we can locate this within the larger assembly. Right, then we're going to need... Um, and I think I just deleted the blueprint for that. We're going to need to make some uh, plastic. Okay, so the recipe on this is going to be plastic. Um, I'm just going to beacon it for now. Um, we will figure out the pipes in a minute. Okay, so this is really just to get the, the rates. Um, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna need a second one of these. So it's one for eight and a bit, and we've got um, seven, two lots of seven. Okay, so this is starting to look like a parts list. Let's do this and find out what the rates come out at. Okay, so uh, this would produce not in stack filters, items per minute. Okay, this will produce 315 furnaces a minute. And let's find out just how close we need to get to that 315. Okay, so this thing here, yes, massive charging because everything came in, all the bots came in and killed it. We might even have a bot roosting issue no, it's just working through all those bots that drifted over. Okay, so if this was running at full speed, it would need one, two, three, four furnaces. Okay. One, two, three, four divided by four. 308. 
Okay, and we're doing 315. Okay, so if we did um, 315 minus 315 minus 308. Oh, grief. No, I give up. I can't use this calculator. Okay. Um, right, so we're making 315 furnaces if the build is running at full speed. And we need 308 furnaces. Okay. Okay, so that's 102%. If we do it the other way around, so we've got 102% capacity. That means we've got 2% in hand, 97, it's near enough 2% again. All right, so uh, we can have the build being under capacity for the inputs by up to 2%, and the build will still work. Now, obviously, we don't want to be 2% under, but um, so we're over on green, we're over on plastic. We are under on coil, so we need one more coil machine. Although we are well over on the green circuits. Right, so we've got a third extra green circuit machines. See, this is what I don't really understand about the last build not working, because we were... All right. So I'm going to separate out the coil machines into left and right machines. All right. So this build here, this is more than 10% under for coil. So this build would fail because there would not be enough coil. All right. We are one third over for green circuits. But we're also down on coil. See, I'm not sure these numbers are very, net machine numbers are very useful. We are quite a significant percentage though down here. Um, maybe that is a real number. Uh, so we are basically short a coil machine. Right, so we need one more coil within the build. All right, so if we ignore the green circuits for now, this is now in credit for coil. And this is now in credit for coil, okay. So maybe the issue with the previous build was that we just did not have enough coil machines. Um, now, this red circuits is under, and it's under by 6%. And if you remember, our tolerance for under providing was 2%. So we need one more red build to make this work. Just put that there for now. So this is now in credit for reds. We have a little bit of red capacity in hand, which means we will be able to under smelt and keep this all going. Okay, so this is better. So now we're under on the coil by two point. 0.29, so by 2%, by 3%, but we're over on the green circuits by 20%. So as long as the lack of coils goes into slowing down the green circuits, we are shiny. 
Um, the plastic, we're fine. Okay, so this is it. So, so then what we need to do is um, come up with the corresponding smelting. Now, steel. Um, steel and stone brick. So the stone bricks for this, um, I think this is 11 furnaces for the stone brick. Okay. And the, the stone brick runs at half the speed of iron plate. Um, and then the steel runs at one fifth. So if you've got 11, 4.5, 9, 18, 20. So early twenties, which corresponds to half of 54, which is the other number we had. Yeah, so I don't think we'll be able to supply this with a local steel build, but I will have a go at doing the maths for that just to check. Um, what we could do is put down some furnaces, put some ore in them, and see if we can actually count the furnace requirements to keep this all ticking over. Okay, let's do that, because I am pretty fed up with building things and then discovering the furnaces are wrong after it's already built. Okay, so let's start with iron. And we will do steel last, I think. Maybe we should do steel first. All right, that's iron, copper, steel, stone, yeah, bricks. All right, so let's put stone bricks into that. We will put iron plate into that. Yep, we will put copper ore into that, and then we will get to the iron ore in a minute because it gets confusing with having um, iron going to the steel and iron going into the red green circuits. So let's do this. Right, brilliant. Uh, so we are 18 copper smelters short, so we need 19 copper smelters. We are 10 brick smelters short, so we need 11, 10 and a half, so we need 12 brick smelters in total. Uh, at 56 steel, so we are not doing steel on this site. So we can nuke the steel. This is going to have to happen in its own build. Um, okay, so now we can put the iron ore in. Okay, so we only need seven iron ore smelters. Um, 12 brick, 19 plate, copper plate. Um, so maybe the thing to do now is to start assembling the red circuits. And I'm, I don't know if I want one red circuit build on one side or two on two sides. Um, is there anything else which is uneven? Yes, there is. We've got uh, three coil machines. Oh, we also have one extra circuit machine. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering, because uh, if we have some red circuit machines, then a coil machine, then... Um, green circuits, the coils for the green circuits, then the plastic, then um, furnace, and then some more red circuit. This gets quite long, doesn't it? Four, seven. 
seven on one side, four, and then we've got. Um, right, let's put the icons in because I will forget otherwise. Okay, so this would be coil green circuit. Okay, then um, let's say this is the smelter. And then this is plastic. Let's um, imagine we did it like this. I'm not suggesting this is the only way to do it. How wide is this? 11, so that's a good width. Right. Um, so we need an extra copper machine on one side, um, but we need also extra um, red circuits. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we have seven red circuits on one side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we have eight on the other. Right, so the other side, four, then we'd have Coil, coil, green, coil, plastic, um, furnace, okay, possibly something like that. Then the next one um, so one, two, three, one, two, three, four. Um, right, so this could be furnace, furnace. Is that right? And then we have a machine in hand. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to put these here, but they, they may end up happening to be here for plumbing reasons. Uh, I think possibly this time I will have them Um, either side with some sort of central central thing feeding them and weave it through the tracks. Uh, all right, so that's our front line. So we could don't need that. Okay, so something like that. We can shuffle the exact order around. Um, then we would have, so that's our green circuit bills taken care of. We have uh, one, two, three green, sorry, furnace builds. We'll need to shuffle those so that they are more evenly distributed. Um, okay, then it's the smelting. So we need 11 bricks, so 10 on each side. We need um, six iron, so three on each side. Uh, then we need, sorry, we need 12 brick, so yeah, 12 brick. We need seven iron plate and 20 copper. Um, so we could do a row of 10 copper on each side. The length of this again is 13. Okay, so 13 is quite a good size build. I wouldn't want it to be any bigger. Um, okay, I think it's time to start building. Uh, so we will stop there. Next time we will have a go at laying this out 
and see if we can get it built and actually working this time with our much cut down build. Okay, until then, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'm sorry we're re revisiting this from scratch, but the last build would not work in reality, so we have to rebuild it. Um, that's just the way these things go sometimes. So, um, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.